The English longbow wasn't just a weapon. It was a biomechanical machine, powered by years of physical adaptation. Medieval archers trained from childhood to pull bowstrings with over 160 pounds of draw weight. That's over twice the force of a modern hunting bow, repeated hundreds of times a week. That repetition didn't just build muscle, it changed bone. Archaeologists found longbowmen with asymmetrical skeletons, enlarged upper arms, and twisted spines, classic signs of Wolf's Law, which says bones remodel under repeated stress. And the longbow wasn't just physically demanding, it was devastatingly effective. At the Battle of Agincourt in 1415, a smaller English army held off tens of thousands of French knights. But how? It's because over 80% of Henry the Fine's troops were longbowmen. Their arrows, fired in deadly volleys, slowed cavalry charges, pierced armor at close range, and caused chaos in the French ranks before swords were even drawn. The bow itself could launch an arrow at 150 to 180 miles per hour, converting stored elastic potential into kinetic energy, strong enough to penetrate chainmail and even plate armor under the right conditions. There were no crossbows, no gunpowder, just physics, precision, and the raw power of a body reshaped by war. The English longbow turned its wielders into weapons. It didn't just change warfare, it changed the human skeleton.